Hello, this is Jacob Bolger, our sculptor, and today we're going to do a nice little landscape. Um, it's going to be like a little winter landscape. And what I like to do is put down some yellow okra. This is yellow okra. It's a, just a beautiful color. A lot of artists work with it, and I love it. And it just gets the paper covered. Um, and that's the main objective, really, is to just get it covered. <laughs> and there'll be a complete tool and supply list in the video description. It really helps to have a piece of blue tape underneath. Let me do that real quick. I'll be right back. Yeah, I just put a loop of uh, this blue tape. If you get the low tack, it's the best. Because when you take it off the watercolor paper in the back, it might pull some of the paper with it. So I like to do that, yeah. Get the low tack. So yeah, I just want to get that covered. Now... The way I paint, the way I like to paint, is I like to paint wet on wet. So as you can see, I mean, this is all real time, right? <laughs> I mean, I am just um, going right at it. And a lot of people wait for it to dry, and the reason why I don't is, for one, I'm inspired to paint. I want to paint. I don't want to wait for it to dry, you know? That's one reason. And that's kind of what happened was that's what caused me to do it in the first place. But then when I started doing it, I mean, you just can't get the mixtures of colors if you weren't paying wet on wet. The colors are bright aqua green, brilliant blue, purple, and light blue. And this is a paper towel. The one that I just put the yellow ochre on. And I'm going to just clarify right away. No, you won't make a muddy mess. No, you won't because you can't with these colors. You can't. Okay? It's not possible. You are going to make pretty, pretty colors. It's going to be fun. Yeah, man, absolutely. What I'm doing here is I'm kind of creating the sky. So I'm just doing the whole thing. Um, And I don't mind if the yellow okra pokes through a little bit. That's good. That's fine with me. Now, these paints are actually a gift to me, and they're actually from Artist Loft. Um, oops. um, these are artist law paints. Um, so, I'm using them, but, you know, usually I use Studio Series Acrylic, made by Utrecht. Because it's, you know, it's actually, it's fairly economical, but it's good, you know, fairly heavy body paint. And that's nice because, you know, texture is such a beautiful thing. Oh, I love texture. And you know, I'm a sculptor too, so, um, oh yeah. I love my texture, man. So, uh, I, I like to, I like to work with that kind of paint, a heavier body of paint. But, you know, the real heavy body paint, the real expensive, you know, golden, um, brand and all that, I bet I can't really afford that, so... That's not really an option for me. But 
you know, also I paint like all the time. I don't record everything that I paint, but I, I would like to, but I can't really. It's kind of hard to create and actually all the time, you know, in front of the camera. And that's why some of my videos are silent, you know, and, you know, I don't talk because I'm not really doing a tutorial, I'm just taping it. And if it works out and it's a nice painting, yeah, definitely. Um, so. Okay, so um, this is my background, and uh, yeah, I'm using actually a piece of watercolor paper for um, my palette, actually. It's nice because you can use it over and over and over. Cut little pieces, whatever size you want, and that sort of thing is kind of convenient. I also use my work surface, which is a, a pizza box right now because I'm moving and everything's in disarray. You know, I'll use that as my palette also. So I just want to get some on my brush and just try to get it worked into the bristles and, and I move it around a little bit on the paper and get it kind of relaxed. And I'm going to go through here and do a little force and now we're Again, I'm doing wet on wet. I like these kind of like uh, little abstract spooky kind of trees. <laughs> Go over to the fan brush. Getting kind of abstract with that tree that time, huh? That's all right. It is, you know, definitely an abstract landscape, I mean. Mm -hmm. I won't see something like this, I don't think. I like how that tree turned out, that's kind of fun. So kind of like white spruce trees. I've got a thing for white trees. I, I, I do paint white trees a bit. All kinds of white, all kinds of trees, but you know, white. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that, it's pretty cool. Kind of go up Bering Heights. And, yeah, very nice, I think. How about if we uh, show you how to use a palette knife? You can get packages of these online. You, if you have a nice piece of paper, flat piece of paper, you can put a little paint on it and you can just kind of drag it across like, like putting uh, butter on bread, like that. See? And then if you go like this and you take the sharp, your real sharp way, like this, you can get like it right on the edge. If you find a struggle with that, a lot of people have troubles with that. If you do, you can take your knife like that and just set it into the paint like that. And then you've got it right on the edge of your palette knife. And the reason why I'm doing that is I want to make a little house. It's not hard. Absolutely not hard to do this. It takes a little practice. See, it's really not bad to do that. It's really hard to do that. Mm -hmm. 
Little Timmy. Now I'm gonna leave that for a few minutes. Think about what I'm doing here for a sec, and it's looking pretty good. I like it. What I'm gonna do is get a little yellow okra. And I'll get a little bit on my knife, and then I'm just going to fill this in. But I like the white outline, so I'm trying not to touch that. And keeping in mind still, the paint is wet. And I like that because I can see the blue coming through and mixing with the yellow okra. And I'm actually happy. I'm a happy man. I'll get a little white on there. And put in a door and a window. And there we go. Now, I think what I'm going to do... Let's see. Maybe... Maybe I'll use a fan brush again. Because I've been holding in my left hand all this time. I think I just want to try and create a little snowy. Always pretty. And see, look at this. You cannot experience this if you are not painting wet on wet. I don't think it's the same. I don't. That's why. I mean, look at the colors just mixing like that. I think that is a beautiful thing. Oh. You know what we have here? We have a, a little, like, lake. Oh, isn't that sweet? I, when I, uh, years ago, I knew an artist named Julius Kasovic, and he, and he took photographs water reflections, and I was really turned on by his work. So I started photographing them too, <laughs> and I've always been interested in them, and I oftentimes do water reflections in my art. So, here we are. We have a lake. And I want to do the opposite of that. But I want an even more kind of spooky, <laughs> you know, because it's water. Mm -hmm. yeah, and this was not planned, but I will tell you, I had a little inspiration. It was this painting that I did uh, like a month ago. So I was, I often use my own work to inspire me. Um, so, yeah, and uh, well, I'm not done there. I think what I'm going to do, actually, I, you know, I actually, if, if I, I'm a, I'm really kind of a landscape person, but I really like uh, uh, night landscapes. You know, I'm really kind of a night guy, night kind of landscape guy. So I'm going to put in a moon. By the way, feel free. If you want to copy this, go ahead. I'm 62 years old. You know what? Go ahead. <laughs> I I think you will probably come up with your own ideas, though. More than likely. Absolutely. 
and that was just a real reflection of the moon. I just did. And what more? I don't know. I think, you know, that's nice. I like it. I'm going to leave it there. Oh, oh no. One more thing. So, I'm Jacob Holder. I'm an artist and a sculptor, and this is my channel, and this is uh, what I do. I teach how to paint and how to sculpt and how to do faux finishes and things like that. And uh, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe um, and hit the bell icon to get a notification when I upload. I'm going to try Wednesdays and Saturdays for a while, but I'm moving on Thursday, so I don't know if I'll be able to pull Saturday off this week. And, uh, if you do something like this, I would love to see it. Absolutely, please send me a photo. Because, uh, that will, uh, help motivate me. And, uh, I'm making a mess there. Um, yeah, that would definitely help motivate me. And, um, you know, i like to see, you know, the success of my classes. I want people to be successful. And I, and don't be afraid to try, because this is really very easy to do. And very fun, and it's not going to be hard for you to do this. Just follow along and do what I did, and you'll be able to do it. You'll make a beautiful painting, and please share it with me. I absolutely want to see it. There'll be uh, contact information in the video description down below the video. And um, please give the video a like, share it with your friends, and thank you so much for watching. Oh, leave a comment. Leave a comment. Tell me where you're from. Where you're watching from, say something about the video. If you have a question, ask me a question. I'll answer it. And, yeah, please leave a comment. Absolutely leave a comment. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. And have a great day. Bye-bye.